about everything that, that we've seen so far. We've got the piece of paper. When we blew it over the top, it moved up into the moving air. We had the um, two balloons sitting side by side and we blow between them and they move together into the moving air. Then we had the hairdryer with the ball on top and actually that's, that's a slightly more complicated example. Let's just leave that to one side. And then there was the water in the tube, in the straw. We blow across the top and the water drew up into the moving air and was sprayed everywhere. And now let's go back to that initial example that you mentioned that started this whole thing off, which was the problem of the shower curtain. So think about what we've got with the shower curtain. Shower curtain is to stop all the water from spraying out of the shower into the rest of the bathroom. But think about what we've got just here. Shower curtain behind me. On one side, still air. On the other side, you've got where all the water's coming out. What's that going to do to the air on this side of the curtain? Does this setup relate to some of the other things that we've looked at so far with the way that air moves and the way that objects interact around that moving air? Let's have a think about it.